high. This has been designed so you can use it in an active environment, sitting at a desk, and allow the instructions to affect you gently through the subconscious. Or you may choose to take some time out for yourself, seek a quiet environment where you can sit or lie down, an environment where you won't be disturbed, where you can give yourself over completely to the experience of the exercise. Allow your eyes to close. And surrender completely and totally the process. And if you choose to do so, select a quiet environment, turn the lights off maybe, draw the shades, and give yourself over to the inner experience. Loosen your clothing, if you'd like, and find yourself as comfortable and relaxed a position as possible. As we leave our time, as we normally know it, I'd like to invite you on a journey. A journey into your own experience. A journey into the center of yourself. Into the place where you create your state of being. Make any adjustments you'd like to in your position or posture. And let go of everything else that's ever happened to you. All your memories and thoughts, fears and dreams, hopes and aspirations, all your concerns. Let all of that go and let the mind rest quietly, softly, slowly, emptying, 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 until the mind has become so empty and so clear. There's nothing left to notice but your breathing. As you notice your breathing, it might begin to deepen or become more gradual or both. And allow your breath to dictate its own natural rhythm and surrender to that rhythm. And to help yourself maintain the attention on the breath and connect the awareness to the experience of breathing itself. You might, as you breathe in, say to yourself, breathing in, quietly or silently or simply internally think it. And as you reach the top of the breath cycle, you might note to yourself, top. Again, allowing the breath to dictate its own natural rhythm. As you're breathing out, you might say to yourself, breathing out. And again, 
as you reach the bottom of the breath cycle. You might note it to yourself with the word bottom. So that you're attending to the four phases of the breath cycle. Breathing in, top, breathing out, bottom. And leave yourself with the suggestion that going on, whether you're conscious of it or not, is an attention to the four phases of the breath cycle. Breathing in, top, breathing out, bottom. And as the breath continues to take care of itself, and attend to itself. And even though you're noticing each of the phases of the breathing as it occurs, and giving over to it, you're also giving over your body to the position it's in. The next stage of the exercise is to focus the conscious attention on relaxing. And relaxing for us here implies relaxing all the muscles of the body, relaxing the neural system, or the nerves, relaxing the thoughts and emotions, a complete relaxation of all the aspects of your being. But specifically for this exercise, relaxing implies relaxing the muscles closer and closer to the spine. Almost as if each time you think relax or let go or release, the movement moves in a notch, closer and closer to the spine, until you're actually relaxing the muscles that hold the spine itself. You might use the image of a bullseye or target, and each wave of relaxation moves you in one ring closer to the bullseye, until you feel that you're relaxing the muscles of the spine itself. And even then, you might continue to move in deeper to the center of the spine. Relaxing, relaxing more completely, relaxing more evenly from the top to the bottom. And as the relaxation moves closer and closer to the spine, there's a ripple effect and the relaxation also spreads outward to the furthest extremities of the body. And as you continue to relax the muscles, and again, understanding that word now to mean relaxing the muscles moving closer and closer to the spine, you might notice that the spine is beginning to elongate as if when you release the tension and holding, the spine is allowed to naturally return to its state where it's loose and it lengthens in a very effortless way. Now there is flowing within the spine and up into the cranium, an actual physical fluid called the cerebral spinal fluid. And when during the normal course of activity, we tense up, and especially when we tense up the muscles closer to the spine, 
that fluid is forced out of the area between the vertebrae and along the vertebrae and the nerves that flow through the spine. Sometimes it can be squeezed up into the cerebral cortex and put pressure on the brain. You can get that pressure all the way to the experience of um, headache, discomfort. But it's easy to correct by relaxing and consciously relaxing the muscles closer and closer to the spine and allowing that fluid to flow back into the spine itself. And as it does, it lubricates all the joints between each vertebrae and each disc, it makes the spine more fluid and more flexible. Also, as that fluid flows between each disc and each vertebrae, it actually opens the space between the discs and the vertebrae. It actually opens the space between each joint of the spine. You might imagine that when the spine is contracted, that the bright light or vitality or energy contained within the spine is captured inside. But as you begin to relax the muscles closer and closer to the spine, and the fluid flows back in between each disc and each vertebrae, and the spine begins to elongate, there's an opening at each point between each vertebrae and each disc, and that brilliant light Vitality or energy begins to radiate out 360 degrees between each disc and each vertebrae and enlightens the whole body and being. Allowing the relaxation to allow the elongation. You may begin to imagine or pretend that your spine is actually lengthening. and that in that lengthening there's an opening of space for your being. And as the spine continues to lengthen, conscientiously allow all the weight of the physical body to pour into the earth. as if it were water in sand. And the sand were absorbing all the liquid, all the fluid, all the weight of your body. And with it goes all the tension of your being. All the emotional charge, all the memories, Everything that you hold and think and know. Pouring and pouring. The body being mostly fluid. Imagine that it continues to pour until all the weight of the body is pouring through the sits bones or the feet, or the back, or the legs and arms, until the weight of the body has been absorbed through the bed, or chair, or floor, into the earth itself, and continue to pour all the weight, all the tension. It's an act of being responsible for your relationship to the earth. And it releases the tension that we normally hold. And if we do, that tension needs to be unloaded somewhere. And unfortunately, frequently, we unload it on someone else. Or we've had others unload their tension on us. But a more conscientious, more responsible attitude towards this weight or tension is to pour it into the earth personally take responsibility for releasing that weight into its natural relationship with the earth 
So as you continue to relax all the muscles closer and closer to the spine, and allow the spine to elongate, allowing that fluid to fill in between each vertebrae, and open the joints, and allow that radiant light to flow out. But there's a releasing or a pouring of all the weight of the physical body, and mental and emotional as well, into the earth. And as you continue pouring your weight into the earth, and as you let go into that downward sinking force, I'd like you to notice that rather than falling through space, that you're held in your position by an equal and opposite upward rising force. And you might imagine or pretend that that upward rising force is the earth coming up to meet you, coming up to support you, coming up to hold you up, pull you up. So as you continue to relax the muscles closer and closer to the spine and allow the natural elongation and opening of all the joints of each of the vertebrae, of all the nerves of the body that flow through the spine, and continue to pour that weight and that energy into the earth. Imagine receiving the upward support of the earth and receive it consciously and receive it with appreciation that the earth is there to support you. And it's a choice. It's a way to frame the experience that you're receiving the upward support of the earth. You might notice that the breath is still following its four cycles, four phases, breathing in, top, breathing out, bottom. And while the breath continues in these four phases, you could continue Focus your attention on the relaxation of the muscles closer and closer to the spine. Relax. Notice how that naturally allows the elongation of the spine to take place. And the elongation is the opening of all the joints of the spine. And you might even imagine that that opening was expanding to include all the joints of the body. including the joints and the fingers and toes and even the space between the bones of the cranium. The whole body is releasing and expanding to its natural, uncompressed state. And as the body expands to allow all the weight of the body to pour into the earth, and as you continue pouring all the weight and tension, emptying all the thoughts and fears and concerns. You might also choose to receive the upward support of the earth, relaxing, elongating, pouring, receiving. Relaxing, allowing the spine to elongate, pouring the weight of the body, receiving the support of the earth, relaxing into the downward sinking, natural force of gravity, allowing the natural elongation of the spine through the upward rising force, releasing, pouring all the weight of the body into the downward sinking force, into the earth itself, and receiving the upward rising support of the earth, but 
supports you throughout your life. Relax. Elongate. Pour. Receive. Relax. More and more into the center of the center of the spine. Elongate. Simply allow the spine as that fluid enters into the space to open and lengthen and glow. Pour the weight of the earth. Pour the weight of the body. Pour all the thoughts. Pour everything into the downward sinking force. It's a simple releasing. But the image of pouring implies an ongoing release, continuing to pour and continuing to pour. Pouring every drop of weight into the earth and receiving with appreciation that upward rising force, that support that the earth gives you as it provides a place for you to stand or sit or lie. As that upward rising force supports your ability to dream and think and perceive. Relax. Elongate, pour, receive. As the breath continues on its in-breath to the top of the breath cycle, and the out-breath to the bottom of the breath cycle, breathing in. Top. Breathing out. Bottom. Breathing in, relaxing. All the way to the top, elongating. Breathing out. Pouring all the way to the bottom, receiving. Relax every fiber of your being. Elongate, opening all the joints of the spine and radiating that feeling out to include opening all the joints of the body. Opening the mind and spirit the heart, elongate is a natural occurrence of relaxation, pouring is a natural occurrence of relaxation, receiving is a natural occurrence of relaxation, and the power that allows you to experience this is the focus of your attention. Focusing your attention on relaxing the muscles closer and closer to the spine. Relaxing the spine itself. Allowing the spine to elongate completely without any effort to its natural state. Pouring all the weight all the fluid into the earth and receiving the support of the earth itself. Relaxing, downward sinking. Elongating, upward rising. Pouring, downward sinking. Receiving, upward rising. 
relaxing into the downward sinking force, and appreciating and enjoying it. Elongating into the upward rising force, and appreciating it, enjoying it. Pouring your weight into the downward sinking force, and appreciating it, and enjoying it. Receiving the upward rising force and appreciating and enjoying it. As you allow the downward sinking force to mix with the upward rising force, as the water sinks downward into the center of the earth and the fire or heat of the center of the earth rises up to meet it, the two forces together produce a steam energy, vitality that fills your body and your mind, that cleanses and charges your emotional spirit, your whole being, this energy, rejuvenation and vitality. And let your whole being absorb charge and rejuvenate with the vitality that's created by the merging of the downward sinking, meeting the upward rising, and the power of them joining together. And know that even after you've forgotten this tape, the downward sinking force is always meeting the upward rising force. And in your subconscious mind, you may attend to relaxing, elongating, boring, and receiving. And even as you enter back into the activities of your everyday life, at a more engaged level, the breath is still breathing in to the top, breathing out to the bottom, Muscles still have the ability to relax. The spine can still elongate. You can pour the weight and with it the tension of your day into the earth. And the earth is always there supporting you if you choose to attend to receiving it. So as you enjoy the glow, the feeling of the energy, the vitality, and the rejuvenation the mixture of the two forces becoming one, the downward sinking force merging with the upward rising force, becoming the energy that is your life. As you begin to think about engaging in the world with access to this force or this power, appreciate it, enjoy it. And know that whenever you choose, you can come back into this place where you create the state of your being, this journey that you've taken out of time is always here waiting for you. Relax, elongate, pour, receive.